vending machines, but instead of chips or soda, they sell emergency contraception, also known as the morning after pill. The machines already in place at schools across the country, including Columbia University in New York. I definitely seen them and like it was really a big hype when they first put them in. It was really good to have those resources right there on campus. Now Barnard College, a liberal arts women's college also in Manhattan that has a partnership with Columbia University, plans on installing one of the vending machines outside their primary care service center. I think it's really great that Barnard is actually providing options and uh, in a way that is non-discriminatory and people can really access this without shame. The new trend is very controversial with pro-life groups. Alice Lemos, the secretary of the Bridge to Life, a charity that helps women in crisis pregnancies, explains this distribution method could cause problems. We don't know what the long-term effects of high doses of hormones is, and also we're making it more and more difficult for young women to say no. We're saying in essence that a pill solves every problem, and it doesn't. Lemos further explaining she believes the vending machine pushes women further away from just saying no. It's not bubble gum. We're talking about high doses of hormones. I think it's terrible that the campuses are encouraging bad behavior. Just saying no actually does work. The vending machines already set up at Columbia University are located in building lobbies. The pills sell for $40 in our machines along with items like tampons and Advil. In a statement to Currents News, Barnard College said after assessing student need and evaluating best practices among our peer institutions, we decided to install vending machines to ensure students would have access to a range of over-the-counter medications, including emergency contraception at hours when pharmacies may be closed and they have the need. Columbia University has yet to respond to our request for comment. It's estimated the Barnard vending machines will be ready sometime during the upcoming spring semester. In Manhattan, Emily Druby, Currents News.